Hey guys, thanks for joining me back in the shop. It's a little warmer out today. I'm going to go ahead and spend a little bit of time, start breaking down this uh, PATH Model R receiver. Get the uh, power transformer out, the uh, loudspeaker out, tuning condenser, and of course the uh, tubes. You guys saw this play in an earlier video. I've got the E-caps tacked in at this point, so I've got to clean that up. But uh, let me go ahead and get uh, things removed so I can start doing some of the rust removal. And uh, maybe get this uh, chassis somewhat complete before uh, spring so I can move forward with the uh, cabinet itself and wrap up on this. And a better look at the chassis with the uh, tubes removed. Again, it's not uh, one of the worst ones I've seen. I think uh, I can get the uh, rust mitigated. And I look underneath again, uh, where I left off again, just having the E-caps uh, tacked in on the uh, terminal strip. And again, no uh, line cord or power cord at this point. Just uh, had that uh, clipped on to do some uh, testing of the circuit. So let me go ahead and get the uh, fragile power transformer removed. Hopefully I won't uh, mess up things here. You guys can see I'm using uh, two methods and procedures. I'll look at DC resistance, of course, before I uh, tack anything back into the tube socket. But I've also uh, marked everything with a uh, blue marker for the plates. And now the uh, filaments I'll mark in red. I'm going to just snip everything off as uh, close as possible to the uh, tube socket itself and I'll uh, clean up all the uh, solder connections as well. You can see how tight the wiring is underneath. This lead comes back and uh, ties back in over to the uh, filament of the 2A5. Not much room in there to apply solder back over to the uh, lug. I just hit that with the uh, soldering iron. It looks like it was just tacked in. I'm wondering if this is actually the original uh, transformer or replacement. I can't see them just tacking in this lead from the uh, factory, but uh, maybe so. You never know. You see that glob of solder down there. And the other filament winding of the transformer going down here to the uh, 56 tube. And it's tied in down here. And another one of the taped up leads that I had uh, referred to earlier. Wanting to check coming out of the uh, transformer back over to the uh, second position on the terminal strip. Looking at this from uh, my orientation, left to right. And one more that's uh, been spliced. You can see it running through here over to the uh, one, two, three, number four spot on the terminal strip. One, two, three, four. I'm going to have to redo this anyway. Go ahead and cut this here. For those that are uh, new in the hobby, just take note of this. The reason I like to uh, pull out these old transformers, in most cases, you can just see how brittle and used up the uh, wire is. And digging around, one more conductor that's been uh, taped over. Going back over to the uh, third spot left to right on the terminal strip. It's going to be the uh, primary of the transformer based on where I had my uh, temporary line cord connected. One power transformer removed. Again, the conductors themselves, the uh, protective coating is uh, frayed in numerous locations. I'll probably break the uh, housing down and see if I can better protect those. I'm just guessing the power transformer is not original. You can see how this is uh, drilled out. 
usually from the uh, factory. It'd be a lot cleaner. I'll definitely need to expand the uh, diameter of this hole on the chassis to get the uh, leads back through from the power transformer after uh, dressing those back up a bit. We get the loudspeaker removed. One of the leads I had spliced earlier from the uh, fuel coil when I remounted a terminal strip here to clean up some of the components that were just hanging in the air. Go ahead and remove it and get the output transformer uh, disconnected as well from the audio tube. One faster over here. And what I believe to be the other lead from the uh, fuel coil, the uh, tan one, coming here to the uh, second location on the uh, terminal strip from left to right, number two spot, tying into the negative side of the uh, E cap. Let me just snip that off. And that leaves the uh, two remaining leads for the output transformer. Going back over to the uh, two alpha five output tube to the plate and the screen grid. My bad. One more fastener to remove here from the chassis back over to the speaker frame, then one on the top that. Uh, fastens a L bracket over to the uh, first coil, that being the antenna coil, located right here. Let me go ahead and uh, cut the lead here, the red lead going from the antenna coil back over to the uh, potentiometer that controls the uh, volume on the RF side. So last one antenna coil now removed. And you can see the electrodynamic uh, loudspeaker as well. Take note of the spider itself. I wonder if it was that way from the factory or is that deformed? It's that way on both sides. Let me know what your thoughts are in the uh, comments section. Leaves the uh, dual section uh, tuning capacitor condenser to remove. Again, it's free, just dirty and rusty. Get that cleaned up. Then I can move over and remove the potentiometer that uh, ties back into the uh, RF section. And you can really see the uh, section here that's been uh, bent. Again, maybe for a reason for alignment of the uh, receiver itself. Again, one section tuning back to the antenna coil and the inner stage coil tied to this section. So maybe done on purpose for alignment reasons.